Morning campers. So here we are. So I didn't get up early. 7.15 is the time I got up. It's almost, it'll probably be nine o'clock by the time we get going. Uh, had to repair my shoes. Of course, the material on my shoes is so delicate. I just went through a little brush here. I think I got caught in a little twig. Rip. So, had to fix my shoes. Again. <laughs> and uh, what else? Oh yeah, and I had to fix my tent bag. Again. Because it was ripping. Anyway, got those repairs done. Um, Cameron's just getting himself all set up, ready to go. He's applying uh, cornstarch to crucial areas that are uh, that are susceptible to chafing. There, give you a. I'll give you the PG shot as he's just getting changed. So yeah, and he says it's working. So that's good. I'm glad. Yeah, it worked better yesterday. Worked better yesterday. He said no chafing. His feet were a little sore from doing the 20 miles, but other than that, everything was good. So mozzies. Oh, we can't wait to get going because the mozzies are eating us alive here. But anyway, we'll uh, we'll get going and and uh, yeah. So plan for today. Same as yesterday, we'll try and get 20 miles in. It'll be a little later. And you know what, I don't, I'm not sure what the train is like. I don't like to look. I'd rather not know. You know, I'd rather just take it as it comes. And, and if it's a hill, okay, I go up the hill and I go down this hill and, you know. Yeah, camera likes to know, but I don't like to know, so. So anyway, that's the plan for today. We'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, so here we are. This is Warren Lake. Uh, if we hadn't have found that spot, we'd have probably had to come up the hill to Warren Lake here because I don't think there wasn't too much camping and it was all uphill. Uh, so anyway, here we are. We're thinking that Stash probably camped here last night. The mozzies are relentless again. And, but this warms my heart to see the purple heather. Aye. Hey guys, so this is for Robin. So, I don't know what mile we're at. Cameron will have a look here in a minute. But I'll tell you the mile on the red line. And we have this tree here. Uh, this is probably the, the most substantial blockage that we've seen. The only other things I'd like to tell you about the trail are that from uh, Cataway Pass to Warren Lake, the bridges, they're all serviceable. They're absolutely, um, but there's some side rails that go along the bridges that are kind of deteriorated. There's one bridge that looks like it's like heaving. Um, but you know, like I said, they're all usable. They're all serviceable. Uh, what's the mileage camera? 561.1. This is mile 561.1, where there's this down tree. And that's, like I said, uh, Robin, that's the first first substantial blockage uh, or, you know, attention that would be required for the trail, for your part of the trail. <laughs> hey, Robin. Okay. So here's kind of what I'm talking about with the side rails. You see how this one is? Um, this one's just at the trail junction to Rainbow, just after the trail junction to Rainbow Lake. Like, I don't think that's... I mean, to me, that's still serviceable. So, yeah, I just wanted to give you an idea of what I was talking about. Here's another log here, another tree. Uh, Robin at 562.2. We scared this guy. He's watching to see what we're going to do. My first wildlife shot. <laughs> He's gone in the back there. Hey guys, just wanted to show you this. We've just got to Rainbow Lake and now we're going to go up over Rainbow Pass. Not 100% sure where it is. Um, the trail's right there. I'm thinking the pass is somewhere up there. <laughs> okay, talk to you later. 
Well, we made it. Rainbow Pass, 9,250 feet. She was a bit of a slog going up there, but uh, it's all good. Now we get to take a break, maybe make some phone calls. Styling. Hey guys, so here's the view from the top. That's not Rainbow Lake, that is actually, it doesn't have a name, but the other one over there at the background, that's Johnson Lake. And this is the, this is the view. This is the trail. We're gonna end up down at Johnson's Lake. So, be a lot of downhill in the next little bit. All uphill, then down. <laughs> Talk to you later. Hey guys. So, here we are, at the top of Pintler's Pass, and if you look down there, I think you guys will be able to see the trail, way down there, just in between those two trees. And this is what Pintler's Pass looks like, which is the same name as the hostel. You guys probably already knew that though. But yeah, this is what it looks like. And now, where that little cairn is, that's the trail going down. Down into there somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Really nice. Came across this little guy. He's not too afraid of us. It's cool when you see them like that. They're just doing their thing, you know. There he goes. Oh, there he goes. See how well camouflaged they are. Yeah. Just blend right in. Hi guys. Well, I just said the camera. I don't know if you'd been in any videos today. Oh, I was. I put. Uh, I was putting on the corn search in the morning. It was oh, yeah, a brief, yeah. brief, brief, a brief one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So anyway, uh, well, Cameron, you can tell him. Oh, well, so. Because it was your decision. Yeah, well, we made it together. I just suggested the idea. Yeah. Um, we, uh, <clears throat> so we woke up a little bit later today because we had a later night last night. Um, and, you know, we're going along, going along, and we get to the top of this, I don't know, this ridge hill looking thing and you know we're walking by all these campsites or what you know what look to be like yeah. really nice sites potential campsites potential campsites and you know we stopped for supper up here and um i you know i i asked i asked dad i was like you know what can i say is there anything i can say to make you stay up here and he's like well you know we really want to do the 20 miles and then you know i pulled out the map and from where we are right now it's 40 miles to the um parking lot the chief joseph parking lot which is where we're going to try and hitch from and uh so i said well you know we did pack six days of food so what if we did this we had an earlier night tonight you know we still did like 17 and a half miles so we didn't quite get 20 um but if we shut it down a little bit earlier tonight we can get up a little bit earlier tomorrow morning beat some of the heat because there's less water sources and we're gonna have to carry water tomorrow there's a listed campsite about 20 miles from here which is good and then the following day we'll camp two miles from the parking lot to the trailhead and then the day after that we'll get up early do two miles which is super super short and then try and catch and hitch yeah. early into town get all our stuff done and then have a good night there and then head back out the next, the next day. day exactly that so. works out perfect which was a good suggestion Cameron had that was that was good because I get a little focused on the it's it's I'm conscious of the miles that's all yeah I'm just I'm always like thinking well you know what we have to keep pushing we have to keep moving ahead right as much as I liked it I mean we stopped we had to stop I like I had something going on with my feet and I had to stop we had to stop Took, because I took my socks off and kind of figured out what was going on and dried dried the feet out and you know sometimes you have to do that right. Yeah. It's better that than than you carry on and then Blisters. you have an injury right. 
or they have blisters which slow you down anyway yeah you know just but anyway take the time yeah you got sometimes you just got to take the time and this is such i'll show you guys this site thanks Ken. yeah so here we are so th there's our two tents there that's the background and then it's just tree around about here but this is it's just a nice flat area you know and then we got like we probably hanged our food the perfect, perfect tree hang you know, we found the perfect tree. We're like four feet away. It's like 12 feet off the ground. It's like just perfect. And there's probably the chances of any bears being up here is probably pretty slim. But there you go. At least we did it right. When we could, we did it right, which I'm happy about. But this is what it looks like. So, yeah, that's uh, that's us for the night. Yeah, so anyway, that's us for the night. And, and like I said, and I mean, I was a little, I mean, there's a lot of mosquitoes up here. But where we were going to camp was next to a pond. Well, it's always worse next to water, right? Even though there's a lot up here, at least we have a little bit of a breeze and, and it kind of keeps them down. So that's another good reason to be up here. But anyway, that was our day. Yeah. Uh, hope you guys had a good day and thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. And it's uh, good night for me. And good night for me too. And it's good night from us. Good night. <laughs>